How to add another switch to a three-way switch connected to a three-wire cable from another switch. Install an appropriately sized junction box where the additional switch will be installed. An additional switch will be added from a junction box containing a cable from another three-way switch. The junction box of the three-way switch must be large enough to accommodate one more cable. Sketch of the existing three-way system with the neutral wire in one switch junction box. Three-way switch 2 will be replaced with a four-way switch. And the replaced three-way switch will be installed in the added junction box. Sketch of another switch added to two existing three-way switches in a lighting control system with a neutral wire in only one switch junction box. Three-wire cable from another three-way switch. Turn off the power. Remove the three-way switch from the junction box where the cable for the new switch will be added. The three-way switch will be replaced with a four-way switch after connecting the wires of the new cable to the wires in the existing three-way switch box. Disconnect the three-way switch. Wires in the junction box from three-wire cable after disconnecting the three-way switch. Ground wire, bare. Hot common wire from other three-way switch, black. Hot traveler wires from other three-way switch, red and white marked black as hot. Run a three-wire cable of the same gauge as the existing circuit. From the existing switch from which the switch will be added to the junction box of the new switch. In this example it will be a 14 3 nm, non-metallic sheathed cable. Insert the cable into the junction boxes and secure it to the building structure within 12 inches from the cable entry point into the box. Fourteen three nm cable between junction boxes. Cable secured to the stud no more than twelve inches from cable entry into the junction box. Remove the cable sheath.
The cable sheath should extend no less than one quarter inch into the junction box. Straighten the wires from the disconnected switch. Fourteen three and M cable wires, white neutral wire, bare ground wire, black hot wire, red hot wire, second. Connect the ground wire bare from the newly added cable to the existing ground wire and once connected insert the connected wires into the junction box leaving the pigtail outside the box. Spliced ground wires inserted into the box. Group the hot wires black from both cables, strip the ends of wires about one half inch and connect them with a wire nut. The ends of the wires are twisted with pliers to ensure a better connection. Three to five twists are sufficient as too many twists may damage the wire insulation. Connected hot wires with the wire nut. Insert the spliced wires into the junction box. Hot wires inserted into the junction box. Use black electrical tape or other means to change the color of the neutral, white wire to the hot wire, as this wire will no longer be the neutral wire. Neutral wire, white, marked as hot, black. Trim the remaining wires from the newly added cable to no less than 6 inches and insert them into the junction box. Inserted wires to be connected to the 4-way switch. In the junction box of the added switch, remove the sheath from the cable. Trim the wires to no less than 6 inches from the cable entry to the junction box. Trimmed wires. Use black electrical tape or other means to change the color of the neutral, white wire to the hot wire, as this wire will no longer be the neutral wire. The white wire will now become the traveler wire, hot.
Neutral wire, white, marked as hot, black. Insert wires into the junction box. Wires inserted into the junction box. Three-way switch, front view. Three-way switch, rear view. Ground terminal, green screw. Hot, common, terminal, black screw. Hot terminals for traveler wires, gold screws. Remove the wires from the junction box and strip the ends of the wires about one half inch. Ends of wires stripped about one half inch. Wires from the junction box that will be connected to the three-way switch. Ground, bare, wire that should be connected to the ground terminal, green screw, of the switch. Hot, black, wire that should be connected to the common, hot terminal, black screw, of the switch. Hot traveler wires, white marked as hot and red, that should be connected to the traveler wire terminals, gold screws, of the switch. Make a loop at the end of each wire. Loop at the end of each wire. Connect the ground wire, bare, to the ground terminal, green screw, of the switch. Ground wire connected. Connect the hot wire, black, to the hot, common, terminal, black screw, of the switch. Hot wire connected to the, common, terminal of the switch. Connect one of the hot traveler wires, red in this example, but it doesn't matter which one is connected first, to one of the hot traveler wires terminals, gold screw, of the switch. Connected one traveler wire, red. Connect the second hot traveler wire, white marked black, to the other hot traveler wire terminal, gold screw, of the switch. Second hot traveler wire, white marked black, connected to the switch. Insert the wires into the junction box, make sure the ground wire does not touch any of the hot screws of the switch. Wires inserted. Secure the switch to the junction box and level it. Switch secured to the junction box. Install the switch wall plate. Switch installation complete. 4-way switch front view. 4-way switch rear view. Ground terminal, green screw. Hot input terminals, black screws. Hot output terminals, gold screws. Pull the wires out of the junction box and strip the ends of the wires about one half inch. Make a loop at the end of each wire.
Junction box cables and wires. Three wire cable from another three-way switch. Three wire cable to newly added switch. Grounding wire, bare, which should be connected to the grounding terminal, green screw of the switch. The two traveler wires disconnected from the previously installed three-way switch now form one set of traveler wires which should be connected to the input terminals, black screws of the four-way switch. Two traveler wires from the newly added cable to the new switch junction box, which should be connected to the output terminals, gold screws, of the four-way switch. Connect the ground wire, bare, from the junction box to the ground terminal, green screw of the switch. Ground wire connected. Connect one of the traveler wires, red in this example, from the cable running to the added new switch to one of the input terminals, black screw, of the four-way switch. wire connected connect the other traveler wire white marked black as hot from the cable running to the added new switch to the other input terminal black screw of the switch another traveler wire from the same cable is connected both wires of the same cable as a pair must be connected to either the input black screws or the output gold screws, switch connection terminals. It does not matter whether a pair of wires from one of the two cables is connected to the input or output connection terminal. And the wires from the same pair can be connected to the same terminal, input or output, in any order for the switch to operate properly. Connect one of the traveler wires, white marked black in this example, from the cable from the first three-way switch to one of the output terminals, gold screw, on the switch. Wire connected. Connect the other traveler wire, red, from the cable from the first three-way switch to the other, output, terminal, gold screw, on the switch. Other wire connected. For consistency, the red wires from both cables can be connected to one side of the switch and the white marked black one to the other. But as a pair of wires from same cable, red and white marked black, they must be connected to the same terminal input or output, no matter in what order. Insert the wires into the junction box, make sure the ground wire does not touch any of the hot screws of the switch. Wires inserted. Secure the switch to the junction box and level it. Switch secured to the junction box. Install the switch wall plate. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.